Thank you very much, uh, Hussein. Thank you very much, uh, Osama. Karibuni, all the men and women, good people who have, uh, who requested me to appear on X. Um, welcome to this conversation. Uh, I'm very happy to participate in this interaction. Uh, if you follow my X space, formerly Twitter, in 2020, I did say that the conversation was going to change. From that discussion about uh, personalities, from tribes, from positions, that we are going to be discussing opportunities, we are going to be discussing jobs, and we are going to, to be discussing what is important to each and every one of us. I am very happy. I didn't anticipate then, in 2020, that that conversation was going to be on X. It is wonderful that that conversation is now happening on X. I am immensely grateful for the feedback, immense feedback I have um, uh, got on X. In fact, I think uh, I took a long time before coming to X. I think I should be more often in this X space to engage with uh, you guys and to uh, deal with the situation there. Let me, however, commit that my administration has always believed in listening, in engaging, and that is why I go around the country to engage people. I rarely sit in the office, I go to different places to engage with the people of Kenya. Let me, however, say I have, um, listening to the feedback today on X, um, I think I have gone home with, I need to listen more, I need more empathy, and my administration needs more empathy, and I have heard you say loudly, more action. And therefore, this is very rich and wealthy feedback uh, coming from you guys. Uh, I want to thank you very much for uh, the feedback that I have uh, got from you and for the engagement we've had this afternoon. It was a great moment of Kenyans engaging openly, robustly, and uh, without a holes, in a holes bar, in a, in a no holes barred uh, engagement. Thank you very much for um, engaging with me this uh, today, Friday. I look forward to another engagement. My very, very best wishes to all of you, and uh, I look forward uh, to um, working with you going into the future. Asante sana and uh, allow me to uh, pray um, as we wind up. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this engagement, great engagement with the people of Kenya from different parts of our country and from different parts of the world. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the feedback that we have got from these great uh, Kenyans on the issues that affect our country, the employment issues, the tax issues, the debt issues, the issues around our health care and many other issues. Help us, Heavenly Father, to empathize more with those of us in situations that require empathy, those who have lost their loved ones, those who are working in different situations. I pray for the peace of Kenya. I pray that we shall respect one another, we shall respect uh, um, our constitution, and all of us shall work together towards a much more peaceful, a much more united, and a much more prosperous Kenya. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you very much, guys. God bless you. Thank you very much. Asante san. And it has been said that I am the president. Yes, I am the president of Kenya. But the president doesn't hold absolute power. That is why we are a democracy. In a democracy, there is a system of checks and balances. The president is not a dictator. I cannot decide for the judiciary. I cannot decide for the legislature. They make their own independent decisions. I cannot decide for independent institutions. The police and 
let me say this without fear of any contradiction. When I came into office, I said I will respect the independence of the police. In fact, the one act I did when I came into office, the first day when I sat on my table as president, I signed the instrument to remove the budget of the police from my office because that budget was being used to manipulate the police. You all know that it is said, he who pays the piper calls the tune. So I did not want my office to be the one to decide for the police on who to arrest, who to charge, how to pursue corruption. I provide policy, the police uh, run independently. In fact, if you read the Constitution of Kenya, the police is an independent institution. It doesn't take instructions from me. It doesn't in take instructions from the Chief Justice. It doesn't take instructions from the Speaker or from the legislature. They act independently. I agree, good people, that innocent lives were lost. And one life lost is one too many. I have said in my statement that as government, we are going to support the families to make sure that they bury their loved ones. I have said we are going to support those who have been injured in hospital. I have said that there is a mechanism where the police are held to account. And that mechanism is financed if this in place, it is manned, it has people, very competent people who will deal with that situation. However, I also commended the police for the restraint they showed. My dear Kenyans, the office of the Chief Justice was burnt. The city hall was burnt. Parliament was burnt. Properties in many parts of Kenya were burned. That was what I was referring. I was saying the police did to the extent possible, with constraint, they tried to protect public property in different parts of uh, the country. The reason why we are shifting from NHIF to SHIF is because NHIF is limited. NHIF only uh, captures a small section of our society. It is my intention, as I made a commitment to the public, that every Kenyan must have two things, must have access to healthcare and must have access to health insurance. We must make sure that those people, even those who cannot afford NHIF, because there are many people who cannot, who cannot afford the 500 we are paying at the moment, and that is why we have brought in a means testing system so that the people who cannot afford the, the 500, we have now reduced it to 300 under the new program. And even those who cannot afford the 300, the government of Kenya is going to pay for them so that no Kenyan will go to hospital, whether they are suffering from hypertension or cancer or diabetes or whatever, either they get uh, treatment because uh, level one, two, and uh, three are free, or they can go to a referral hospital and there is an insurance system through SHIF, that is that the social insurance that is going to make sure that uh, uh, their bills are paid. So, and let me tell you, one very important addition to this program is the digital health platform. The biggest problem we have had in NHIF is the digitization process. We lose a lot of money because of collusion between hospitals and staff at NHIF. In fact, you saw in the public media that there are hospitals that have more accountants than medical officers because they are gaming the, 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 the system. We have now standardized all tariffs. There is no way you can be treated by malaria in one hospital and you pay 1,000 and treated for malaria in another hospital and pay 100. We have standardized, whether it is public, 
whether it is private hospital, we have now standardized treatment. That is what happens world over in countries that, uh, that, that, that understand how to manage uh, mother's, mother's health. So this is a comprehensive program. It is one program that will change the face of Kenya. Kenyans will no longer have to sell their land, sell their property to go and pay for hospital bills. We will all of us stop these harambes and the public collections that we are collecting to go and deal with people. I know you have said that the only thing I talk about is Unga and housing. Let me also tell you, uh, the whole housing plan is not just about houses, my brother. It is about real people, real jobs. Jobs in our industries that manufacture cement, jobs in our industries that manufacture uh, steel, jobs in our industries that manufacture clinker, jobs uh, engineers, architects, accountants, HR managers, and many people who are working in that ecosystem. And beyond that, let me also tell you, my manifesto is a five-year manifesto. Uh, what I am doing now is a cut. There will be an exam in five years. And, and I will tell you, when I do the exam in five years, you will see the results. Number two, beyond what I am doing on, uh, on, 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 on the space of jobs around housing, I am actively doing a big program on digital jobs. I was in Ruiru the other day, launching with CCI, a digital hub that is, going to, that is hiring, as I talk to you today, 5,000 Kenyans in Ruiru. I challenge you, you can go to Ruiru tomorrow, to CCI, you will find them working. And they are not the only ones. We have 140,000 Kenyans today who are working in different parts of Kenya, in TVETs, in ICT hubs, who are not working before I came to office. Today they are working because I have a very clear plan on digital jobs. When I talked in my manifesto about digital superhighway, it was not a, a, a write-up. It was not an essay. It was something that I intended to implement. As I talked to you, we are rolling out fiber optic using our power lines across Kenya. 